Blog Talk Radio. Good morning and welcome to um, Psychic Medium Tony G. I'm Tony G. And I'm a channel, actually. So I use the term psychic medium because it's what everybody is familiar with. So, uh, psychic medium channel, Tony G, right here. Okay, so we're going to get started with today's show. And I am going to be taking callers, answering their questions, helping them connect to loved ones on the other side. If you have a question, if you would like to connect with a loved one, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Okay, that's the call-in number. And I am here every Monday at noon Central Time. So if you want to, um, if you don't get through today, you can reconnect next Monday or on a following Monday. It's, I, it seems like I'm really preoccupied right now with something, and I'm just trying to figure out what my next statement should be. And here's. Here's the funniest thing. Once I start channeling, everything is so eloquent. Everything is so beautiful. It seems like I am so put together. Well, that's just them up there, the angels, um, whatever you want to call them. This girl right here, oh, she's all over the place with her thoughts and her everything. So, okay. In a second, I am going to get started. First, before I get started going to callers, and I will get to the callers, so uh, just um, give me a second to do that. But before I get to the callers, I just want to say that um, thank you to Rude Rangers and um, Rude Rangers TV. I am now live streaming. I don't know why I do this when I say live streaming live. This is this is my live streaming symbol apparently. I'm now live streaming on um Amazon and Roku, which I pronounce wrong every single time. People correct me all the time. Well that's just the way my mouth works. It's just the way I'm gonna say it. I'm sorry. Um So you can now watch me Mondays at 6 p.m. on Rangers TV on Roku or Roku or we know what it is, right? We know what that is. Or on Amazon, live streaming on Amazon, and or on YouTube Live every Monday at noon or WSCS, Mondays at 11 a.m. Now, all of these venues you can uh, replay, especially the YouTube Live one. If you go to my YouTube Live station, you can watch all of my shows. And all of my shows have clearings or healings. And usually it's about self-love, it's about relationship, it's about career. But no matter what we're clearing, it's going to help you in every single area of your life. And excuse me, as I get so comfortable, I have my knee up and I just sit here. Um, So today I also, okay, so WSCS's show is um, 30 minutes or 28 minutes. So at about the 28 minute mark, I will thank everybody from WSCS and continue the show. If... If you are watching on WSCS and you would like to see the rest of the show, please don't hesitate to watch on Rude Rangers TV, um, the Rude Rangers app, or uh, on my YouTube station. And if you want to find my YouTube station, it's um, Tony Green Psychic Medium or Psychic Medium Tony Green. Um, If you just put in my name, I pop up. Uh, T-O-N-I-T-R-E-E-N-E, Psychic Medium. Oh, dokie. 
I've also authored seven books and am working on my eighth book now. Yeah, you know what? I don't know what's going on. Procrastination is apparently my best friend right now. All I want to do is bike, cycle. I I love it. It's finally nice enough to go out and be on my bike. And that's all I want to do. I don't, I don't want to do anything else. And I need to, I need to get out. I need, I, I need to get out and bike is what I was about to say. See, I can't help it. I just love cycling. Um, I need to work on my books, my book. I haven't updated my website. I have I didn't even do create a life you love last week. I need to to be focused on work right now. <laughs> okay, so having said all of this, I want to thank everybody who's watching live on YouTube. If you're joining me on a podcast, and thank you to all the podcast hosting companies like Spreaker, uh, Blog Talk. Uh, Google, uh, there are so many. I have a list of them that I should have right here. Um, but I thank you. Um, you And you want to watch me live, you can go to YouTube and watch me live. Okay, doke. Anything else? Uh, I'm going to go straight to the first caller now. So I want to just give a few little things before I take the first caller. If I say your area code and you have me on speakerphone, <clears throat> please take me off of speakerphone. It just creates a lot of noise, and I can't always hear you clearly with speakerphone. Second, I have one question, one direct question. Uh, that question should not be, who's around me? Tell me about my love life. Tell me about my career. That's a full-on session. And I'm happy to do a full-on session with you. You can schedule that with me privately. But have one direct question ready for me or one direct connection. Meaning, I would like to talk with my uh, grandpa, Bill, or my uncle, Joe, or my friend, so-and-so. Okay. Um, it's not fair to everybody else calling in uh, to wait for me to go through all of your energy and find that one particular person that you're trying to connect with, but you just really want to know everybody who's around you. Set up a session for that. Also, do not piggyback. If you ask one question and I answer that question, I've answered your question. Don't say, but wait, what about this? Or piggyback a connection with a question. If you want to connect with a loved one and I connect with a loved one, at the end of that statement from your loved one, don't say, well, ask them this. It's, again, not fair. If you saw my call log and how many people are waiting, uh, you would understand um, that I, it, it, it's really not fair to all the people waiting to ask a question. And all the people on YouTube who are uh, connecting and might want to ask a question. Now, last week or the week before, somebody on YouTube told me to stop talking and take questions. No. No. I get to talk as much as I want. <laughs> Don't tell me ever to stop talking. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> and if you need me to stop talking to answer your question, book a session. Boom, bang, done. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Do not tell a Gemini to stop talking. They will talk for an hour about their right to talk. <laughs> Calling from? <laughs> hey Tony, it's uh, Jay calling from Canada. Thanks for taking my call. It's pretty funny. <laughs> hey Jay, how oh. are you? Good. How about yourself? Oh, I'm I'm having a great time over here, apparently. 
Jay, thank you so much for calling in today. It's always such an honor and a pleasure um, to hear from you. How how have you been? How's everything going? I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm just preparing for what's going on in the fall and possible grief and things like that. Lots of grief probably in the fall, probably or summertime fall. So, just getting prepared for that too. So, yeah. Okay. So. What would you like to uh, – do you have a question or a connection today? A connection, please, with uh, my mother. And yeah, of course. Yep, yeah, that's do it. Do you have specific <laughs> questions for her, or do you just want a message? Uh, my question is that um, can she direct me which ways to prepare for the coming surge of probably death this summertime fall and how to – Affect that energy or uh, prepare for it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it's really I. Oh, Jay, I have goosebumps all over. Ah! So <laughs> there's a song that she is singing, and the song is "It's a Long Time Coming, Coming." And I'm sorry to everybody. I have no no musical skills whatsoever, but I will try. I will try no to make one. Great. Um, and then the other thing is this other song. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Da na 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 na. When I see you again. Okay, so it's. Oh, gee. Uh, uh, you know, right? Oh. You know that song, right? Yeah. yeah. When I see you again. Okay, so enough of that because I really cannot pull off those tones at all. <laughs> there are certain, like I can fake a rap song for sure. I can I can fake Snoop Dogg really well because it's mostly talking anyway. But something like this where you actually have to have a talent, yeah, not I cannot do it. Um, you did great. Thank, oh, you're really way too kind. Okay, so here's what your mom. Those are the songs she is starting with. And what she wants to say is um, embrace what is now, okay? Embrace what is now and know, because I think I know what you're talking about, Jay, but I'm not going to go there on air because no, I, I know. want my yeah. face to take down yeah. or banned. And, but I, yes. right, Jay, Jay, I am right freaking there with you. I, I'll I email think you. I know yeah. Yes, oh, I'll email okay. One million percent. So, um, so what what I'm getting and what's really important to know is um, no one can take what is meant is the message I'm getting. So, oh my gosh. I, I there my my head is literally like so many things are popping up that uh, I know I cannot say on the air at all. I know I can't. Um but okay, it's no okay. one can well, take what is meant meaning even a life. So even though there are so many things going on behind the scenes right now and um, so many circumstances that are questionable right now. The the uh, resilience of humankind is powerful. Mm. Now, whatever comes in over the next six to nine months, but more more exacting, Jay, the next three years. Um, the next three years is um, part of part of a wake up call, so to say. Part of a wake up call um, for I'm getting the word humanity, so I'm just going to say it. Um, it's yeah. part of a wake up call for humanity. It's part of a wake up call. For the masses, um, and again, um, 
uh, and again, uh, here's what we can do as things progress. Um, just get the word out. Just get the word out and get part of the part of because oh, I can't even finish sentences right now. Um, just make sure that the word gets out um, as it's not right now. The appropriate word, the truth is being hidden. The truth is being stifled. So as things come through, as things happen, it's important in whatever way we can to get the word out. I know people personally who have 10 to 15 social media accounts on each social media venue, which seems like a lot of work. But some of those accounts are sleeper accounts. So when they get tossed off of one, they just use another. Or they have this account to, to yeah. for this purpose. Okay, so that's one thing that they're saying right now. And for everybody out there who thinks that um, that that there are a lot of conspiracy theorists going on right now, well, hi, how you doing, first of all? Second, <laughs> um, do research on venues that are not attached to the agenda. Okay. Go to DuckDuckGo. Go to other search engines. There is um, a lot of information available if you know where to look. Um, so somebody somebody came in my office the other day, and they said to me uh, that they were ta we were talking about the great vaccine, and. <laughs> And I said, you know, when they created this patent X number of years ago, and she looked at me with just so much genuineness in her little heart and said, how could they have come up with the vaccine years ago when it just came out? And I was like, where do I even start? Yeah, okay. <laughs> like, like, where do you even start? And I said, well, when they came up with this particular vaccine, and I won't say which vaccine, they also came up with the patent, when they came up with the patent for the vaccine, not the actual vaccine, the patent for the vaccine, they also came up with the patent for several other medications, most of them having to do with fertility, reproductive, and um, yeah, yeah. That called mm -hmm. lungs uh, breathing. Uh, yep. I can't. Why can't I think of that? So as oh autoimmune diseases. So as we go through the next three years and we have a surge of oh my gosh, where did this come from? And the patent to this new medication right. already exists. It came out at the same time as the patent for the vaccine. Like don't research for folks. Just research. But, you know, all we can do is say, Jay, there's a bigger, there, there is a bigger uh, plan here that we have to really pay attention to and we have to really be in alignment with and we have to understand for all that it is. Um, okay. And people are very, very resilient. The will to live can be more powerful than anything you can imagine. So that that is not where I thought this morning would go, but I'm happy that we went there. I'm so happy that we went there. Um, and your your you're mom welcome. does want to say that you're doing a great job. Um, and uh, she had one more song that I know she probably never sang or never. Um, never, probably even knew it's uh, keep your head up. You got to keep your head up. And, okay. the, and again, it is a rap song, but I did not sing it in a rap way. Uh, but it, I think 
to answer your question, we just have to have that um, knowing that we are, everything that's happening is happening as it is supposed to. When there are things that we cannot control, we have to reach deep inside of ourselves and we have to control our perception of what we cannot control. And we have to keep our power of thought going in that positive direction. Because remember, as we we create our world individually, but we also create our world collectively. So we have to, as a collective, um, putting thoughts into the big engine, so to say, we have to keep those thoughts positive and on the right track. Okay, love? Love. Lots of lots of love. Thank you for everyone's on the phone, too. Sorry about this call being so long. So uh, oh, thank no, you for your no, wisdom. No worries. no worries. I am actually um, letting the show run a little bit longer now just so I can get some more people. And so no worries whatsoever. I always love speaking with you. It's always an honor and a pleasure. Um, I am going to go directly to the next caller, who is 951. Hey, 951, how are you today? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Tony? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? It's uh, Nathaniel from California. Oh, my goodness, today is such an awesome day. I get my favorite piece calling in. <laughs> Nathaniel, how, what's going on with you? What would you like to do today? Ask a question, connect with a loved one. Well, uh, I had a dream about my grandma uh, the other night, and she had some convertible and stuff, and I don't know what she was trying to communicate something to me, but sometimes I just have a blast. When I when I dream, so it was, wasn't like last night or the last three nights, I think. But after that, I had about four nights ago. So I wanted to see if I could connect with my grandma, if she's trying to get something through in the last uh, something coming up or something like yeah. that. You know, Nathaniel, the biggest thing that the first word I get with your grandma is remedy, remedy, remedy. Like, um, and, and there's an, I feel like she's a tincture, remedy, natural, um, I think what she's trying to communicate to you is, um, that there is, if you, if there's something going on in your life, if there's something you've been trying to, find an answer to that there's a natural remedy, there's a, um, there is a, a teacher or, or a natural remedy that will help you with whatever is going on in your life, and it is going to help you to uh, kind of get, get resolved what you're working on. I don't know if this makes sense to you or not, but this is the message she's bringing through to me for you, um, that there is a natural remedy that she wants you to look into uh, for something in your... Now, let me let me go this far. Let me jump... Uh, now, is there something physically going on that makes sense for something physical? But also... If you're having a lot of thought patterns lately or a lot of um, anxiety or it, it, there's a natural – and anxiety, you know, thought patterns or whatever it is in the mind, there's a lot that can be done naturally for the mind also. Um, a lot that it can be uh, – even if it's just changing your thoughts, patterns or um but there's there's a remedy for whatever it is that you have been experiencing a tincture that will help you 
resolve whatever it is. Um, and if, if it's just that you've been nervous or if it's that you've been in a place where you are, like I just get overthinking nervousness, um, un, an unsettledness about you, um, which is not your energy typically. Typically, you're just so laid back. You're just so chill. So that would be surprising to me that that would be the case. But we all go through those times. So I'm going to say the biggest thing she wants to know is that there's a remedy and it's natural. Okay, love? All right. And I, I'm really grateful. Grateful, grateful, grateful that you called in today and we were able to connect. I always love connecting with yeah. those who are are always who have been a part of the show since the beginning. So thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. I'm going to go directly um, to the next call. Now, really quick, before I hit the next call, who is going to be 316. Um, Give me a second. I want to thank everybody on WSCS for listening. If you would like to see the rest of this show, you can go to my YouTube station or to uh, the Root Rangers TV and watch the rest of the show. Uh, WSDS, I know there is like another minute or two left, but I know I'm going to be in the middle of a caller when it cuts out. So here we go. 316, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Thank you so much for asking. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name's Brianna, and I'm calling from Missouri. Hey, Brianna. How can I help you today? I wanted to know what you see for the future between Jake and I. Okay. Give me one quick moment here while I kind of slip into your situation. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this week immediately, the next two weeks, and then I'm going to go from there. Over the next two weeks, okay. do not push baby girl. Do not push buttons. Oh, and I'm not saying walk on eggshells or pins or needles. I'm not saying, uh, oh, I love when spirit says this. Somebody from above is coming in for, for you or somebody from the other side because I'm, I'm getting this little accent and it cracks me up because I notice my voice changing. I don't know if other people notice my voice changing, but it to me it's like, seriously, it's the funniest thing. Okay, there it is again. Here we go. Okay, they're not going to let, I don't know who this is coming through for you. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm giggling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> But to me, it just cracks me up to hear myself speak, um, to speak like with an accent. So here we go. Um, over the next two weeks, do not push buttons. Do not. If you know there's a sensitive subject that's on the table, you just push that aside and you wait until after this two weeks is done and everything is calmed down. Uh, do not bring up things from the past. If you're really, you know, you're probably going to want to, but please do not bring up things from the past over the next two weeks. Do not bring up things that will be controversial. Do not bring up things that will cause any sort of problem. And again, I'm not saying walk on eggshells or you know, avoid important topics that need to be addressed. What I'm saying is there's something that can wait, uh, let it let it wait. Don't don't push it, okay? Because if you push it over the next two weeks, it will not end in a good way. Okay? Now after the two week period, after that two week period of the two of 
you not how do I say this? Not touching the the explosive parts, not setting off the bombs, not pulling the pin out of the grenade, whatever you want to call it, um, it will be a better time to communicate anything that's been going on over the next two weeks. Uh, for whatever reason, there's going to be a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, a lot of um, the, and there's again, they're, they're singing to me in this this song and again it is a I think it's a hip hop song and they're like I don't give a bleep if you don't give a bleep and I, I don't even know the rest of the words to that song but so when they come through with that song what they're kind of trying to say is somebody might be temporarily at their boiling point and might think I don't even care anymore so much is on my plate I'm just done I'm walking out okay so over the next two weeks, I know this is really long, but I want to say also this isn't only for you. This could be for a lot of people listening, and I'm going to tell you why. There is a super full, and I'm not an astrologer, but I, I've heard a lot about this full moon that's on the 26th of this month. And this is a super full moon and an eclipse. It's the moon that's the closest to the earth year. It's, it, and whether you believe in full moons or not, a lot of police forces put extra people on during full moons because I think a full moon can just cause people have things come out that normally really wouldn't. But anyway, having said all of that, again, I'm not an astrologer, but I know what I've seen just from the people I know during uh, the new moon, the full moon, eclipses, what comes out, it's, it's not always pretty, okay? Sometimes it's beautiful, but sometimes it's not so pretty. This full moon happens to be in Sagittarius. If you know anything about Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sagittarians can be cutting. They can be amazing, resourceful, strong, smart business people but they're the no BS people. Like they're gonna tell it like it is. So if we have a super full moon in their sign, that is uh, the second <clears throat> biggest moon and closest to the planet, I'm just saying let's all tread lightly this week. <laughs> okay, let, let's tiptoe around all those so things. So what, what, what will happen after the two, what will happen after two weeks okay. you said you would say what would happen four weeks and? Okay, so calm down, be patient, don't, right. don't jump ahead because you're going to miss something that you might not want to miss. And I'm just going to, I'm going to say, you know, I get it. People want to know their long-term outcome. I get people do. Um, but here's what I'm going to say. Is the end result more important than the ingredient? Now, whoever's talking to you from above, they're really phrasing this in a really important way. Is the end result more important than the ingredients? Now, when they say something like that to me, I'm thinking there are some key ingredients missing in this situation, and you're overlooking them. Now, if you're baking something and you don't have all the ingredients, it's just not going to come out right. It's, that's just a fact. That's just the way it goes, okay? I am going to say to you, after the two-week period, the two of you should probably have a really good discussion about if you want the same things, if you're on the same page, and if you're willing to put in the same amount. Now, listen, every relationship requires work. Every relationship is difficult. Every relationship, it can be have its tragic moment, okay? It, they can't. They're, they're almost done moments. They're make-up, break-up moments. They're very difficult challenging times. What we have to figure out is 
where's the good and how much good is in it consistently? Consistently. Now, I can say to you this could be an ever after relationship, but when we're talking about two people, two, each person has free will to do what they want. And if someone says or does something to trigger that person, to annoy that person, or to just try to set the record straight and get the true facts. And believe me, in a relationship, if you're letting somebody put something in your hoo-ha, you have the right to know the truth. That's my personal belief. If you're up in me, I have the right to know the truth about stuff. Okay, I don't, we don't just let everybody up it. Well, most people don't let everybody up in us. But that the point is, if we're in an intimate situation with people, we have the right to know the truth about certain things. Okay, and usually our intuition is pretty correct. If we feel something's off and we've known this person for more than a minute, and we're not paranoid or whatever else, uh, we, we're usually pretty accurate with our intuition. We might not have all the details. We might not know all the facts. But I'm going to tell you, if your intuition is telling you something, listen to it. You will not regret it, okay? We can't be in a place of denial and doi-de-doi, doi-de-doi. We need to be in that place of, this is this is this warning bell this red flag is going off for a reason i'm not going to ignore it now if you're in an adult relationship with an adult person you should be able to have that conversation if you are in a relationship with a man baby or a a woman child and you cannot have that relationship that conversation that might not be the right person for you if you cannot converse on an adult level about what's going on or your feelings, you need to think about, is this the right person for me personally? And you might want to stop changing their diapers and trying to fix the, the situation and find someone that can converse with you like an adult, okay? Now, a lot of people don't like some of the things I say about relationships. I get it. I, I've been through it. It's not like just because I am a channel and a psychic that I don't go through it. I, I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. I want to believe they're good and they're not being uh, whatever they're being, right? I've, I've been through it. So I know. I know what it's like to be in a situation with someone and to want it to work out or to want them back. Are they coming back? Okay, so if they're coming back, is it going to be good? We're asking all the wrong questions. We're asking all the wrong questions. When, when, a, when a relationship goes to the left and we want it to come back to right, we're asking the wrong questions because most of the time the question is, are they coming back? What's going to what, – are we going to get married? First of all, if you're in a tragic situation with someone, why, why do you want a ring? Do you really want to marry this situation? Because the person and you have created this situation, this dynamic, this cycle. Uh, is that really what you want for the rest of your life? Okay, is it really, is this how you want to live? Is this the dynamic you want? Because don't kid yourself. Unless one or both of you, and in most cases, both of you, get that, uh, healing, it's this. This is it. This is the person. This is the situation. This is where you are. They want to know, are they coming back? Well, that's not the right question. Again, they come back. Will it be better? Will it get resolved? And is your need for the truth more important then your need to move forward. And yes, it should be. If if you think something went down, if you if you think something happened or you did something and they want to know, the need for the truth in order to move forward in a healthy functional way should be more important than just moving forward. Because guess what? 
that little that little seed is planted and it's going to keep sprouting and coming up. Now, let's say there was no other person and the truth that you want to get to is just, why do you treat me this way? What, why is this where it is? Why are you behaving in this way? Now, I'm not talking about your situation personally, but Hey, mental illness is a real thing, and sometimes we do not see the signs of mental illness until mental illness until it is too late. I will also tell you a lot of people with mental illness will never admit they have mental illness. If they're functioning, they go to work, they will not admit they have a problem. So you have to make the decision, can I live with this? Can I live with this for the rest of my life? And why would you want to? What in you feels like this is the dynamic I want for the rest of my life? If someone's not willing to get that help, if they have anger issues or severe whatever issues, there's no, don't be a martyr. Don't be a martyr. Don't stay in that situation. It's not worth it. Life is about love. Life is about growing in love, in the direction of love. Life is about creating and co-creating. And when you're in a place of discourse, confusion, trying to figure it out constantly, you're not creating. You're not in that space of love. You're not in that space of growing. You're shrinking your own spirit, your own soul with the toxic energy. And it just, this isn't about a blame game. This isn't about he, she, because this is one of the things from my new book that I'm writing. Um, if you're keeping score, throw out the scoreboard and get in a new relationship because it's not a game. Relationships are not a game. She said, she said, throw all that out. If you're on that level, get out of a relationship Sit by yourself. Be by yourself for a bit and figure it out. Figure out why you need to be with someone you need to fix. Figure out why you need to be with somebody that's toxic or what, how you ended up in a situation that's toxic. And usually, sometimes, most of the time, it goes back to our childhood. Okay, get that healed. You can do that with, um, I, I don't always recommend talk therapy. Because talk therapy, you, you're just repeating things, and when you repeat things, they become beliefs in your mind, and then they become programs, and, and you're just talking about, you're pulling out all the negative. I, I really recommend, like, hypnosis. I recommend healers like Jimmy Mack. Um, I recommend, I, I do clearing work. Um, so if there's something, if you have that light bulb moment, that epiphany of, oh, my goodness, you know who he reminds me of? He's doing the exact same thing as, like, maybe my mom or my dad or my first boyfriend, and it created that pattern in you to have this type of person. You know what? Let's clear that, first of all. And second of all, then go to somebody who can help you reprogram your mind to get you. And even if you can't, here's the thing, even if you can't figure out where it started, maybe you had perfect <laughs> perfect parents and a perfect childhood. God bless you. Write that book. Really, write that book because everybody wants to know what that was like, right? Um, then you have to figure out what brought you to this dynamic. And usually, and I'm going to tell you this, usually it's a lack of self-love. It's a lack of self-love. And self-respect, self-worth, self-value, not knowing who we are and what we deserve. Now, people think that's egoic. People believe saying, I deserve better is an egoic statement. No. And I can just hear it now. When you say to somebody, I deserve better, in their mind, they're saying, who do you think you are? I'm a child of God. So bring it. I deserve better. You're a child of God. You deserve better. And we deserve to be better, to show up better for that person in front of us also. It's not 
only about how they show up for us. It's about how we show up for them. Healthy, functional adults, responsible adults, owning what we do and letting them own what they do. Now, trust me, don't make excuses for people. They have more than enough of their own. They will have excuse after excuse. And if somebody comes to you with excuses or blame, that's a person you might not want in your life because they're not capable of taking responsibility. They're not capable of showing up and being the person that's going to have equal give and take in that relationship, okay? Now, if you don't know the source of why you're in the type of relationship you're in, and let me say this, it goes the source of why you're in a job with a toxic boss, why you're in anything with any toxic person, it's okay. Still, go find a, a really good hypnotist. Find a really good healer. And, again, I recommend Jimmy Mack. I go to Jimmy Mack for everything. Um, if I have something I can't uh, handle on my own, excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me, so sorry. If I can't clear it myself, I go to Jimmy Mack, and his website is jimmymackhealing.com. I will go to him and have him um, clear out of me. Now, if you can't figure it out, find a good hypnotist, find a good healer, um, if you're okay with that type of work, and have them just, you know, say, this is what's going on, and let them do what they do. Because at the end of the day, the ingredients have to be more important than the outcome. You have to be in a situation where everything that's going into this relationship is more important than the, he's next to me, and that's all that counts, or she's next to me, and that's all that counts. If you want somebody back, it should be because you can be in a healthy functional, loving situation where the two of you grow together. And if you can't do that, you have to let it go. And, yeah, don't get me wrong. It hurts when you let somebody go. It does. It hurts, like, a lot sometimes, okay? Because we have this vision of everything we thought it could be, would be, should be. But what hurts more is to keep repeating the cycle and having that hope that it's going to change this time and then still having it end. Like the hurt of ending a relationship is like going to last X amount of time. But the more you go through the cycle, the more you repeat the pattern. You have to go through all of that pain also, and then on top of it, get to that place where when it does end, and if it's unhealthy, it should inevitably end if you both can't get to that good place um, just for your own sanity, for your own spirit, for your own soul. It's still, you're still going to go through the hurt, okay? It, you're still going to go through the ending hurt. So, just for yourself, just to be in that space of love and clarity, not wondering what's going on, not wondering why it's going on, not worrying about the next whatever that's going to come in. Love yourself enough to put yourself in healthy situations at all times, no matter what. Just love yourself enough to put yourself in healthy situations, whether it be work, um, relationship, finances. And if you notice that it's unhealthy in all of those areas, then really go to whomever you need to go to and get yourself to a place where you're in a healthy life. You will never regret becoming more healthy. 
mentally, emotionally, even physically, you will never regret becoming more healthy. And I'm, I'm going to say this, and I probably shouldn't, but hey, it's me. I say things I shouldn't all the time. A lot of people who are narcissists and sociopaths have no idea that they are. You can tell them. They'll just argue to your face and fight with you. You have to decide, can you handle the narcissist? And you can't. Nobody can. You have to sometimes limit the amount of communication you have with a narcissist or a sociopath just for your own mental health, okay? I'll tell you one thing. If you're not sure if somebody's a narcissist or a sociopath, look up the characteristics online. But one tell-tell sign is they cannot tell enough stories about themselves. Everything they say leads to a story about themselves. Their self-importance is off the chart. And you think it's just ego. Like, oh, my God, that person likes them a lot of themselves. Well, the truth is, <laughs> yeah. They do, <laughs> but that's one of the one of the signs. Okay, if if you really want to know, look up some of the characteristics. Look it up in a psychology book if you want to, and if you know you're dealing with that, no, you're not a therapist. You're not a doctor, and I'll tell you, a doctor and a therapist would never be in a relationship with someone like that because it's not. It's not healthy. It's just not healthy. So the choices you make, you have free will. You can make whatever choices you want. But even if you stay with someone who's maybe not the healthiest for you, get some self-healing. People don't like self-help term. Um, find a way to heal whatever it is that brought you to that dynamic. Find a way to figure out why you're in that dynamic, okay? Own your own self. Own your own journey. Own where you're going on it, okay? And from there, everything else will get better. Okay, I'm going to go over to YouTube now, and I'm going to look. Hey, hi, um, Seed03. I'm, I, I know I'm saying that wrong, and I apologize. Hey, Absolutely wonderful to have you here. Okie dokie. I am going to um, I'm going to say once again, thank you so much for joining me. You can watch this live on Rude Rangers TV. You can watch it live on WSCS or on YouTube live streaming. Until next time, have an absolutely amazing, amazing rest of the day. I'll be back next Monday at noon, taking callers, answering questions, helping you connect with loved ones on the other side. Until that time, remember, it's your job to make the miracles in your life. Thanks for joining me, everyone.